<laughs> what did you do? <laughs> you scared me. I just go to show you right there. It don't matter how safe you are, how precautious you are, accidents can happen. But it's better to be uh, smart and wear safety glasses. So you won't be job balls out. Can't tell you, I did tell you. Remind me next time to talk to my wife, so I'm sure you tell me this time. <laughs> Alright y'all, well this is my pipe right here. I'm going to be reaming my whole lot with this, a six inch pipe. And uh, what I did, I just welded me a, a uh, handle on top where you know, I can grab it and hook my rope to it. I'm going to put it down the well. And let me show you the bottom right here. See that right there? It's got a chamfer edge all around it. And that's to uh, make it a lot easier to uh, cut the clay going down through here. I just took my grinder and I started grinding on it. And I put an edge all around it. And uh, I've got a different size pipes that I use. Uh, I'm using a four, four and a half inch pipe. Then I've got a five and a half inch pipe. Then I've got this six inch uh, pipe and I got a six and a half. So I'm just door stepping uh, right now. If I initially started out with a, say a six inch or six and a half inch pipe, I probably wouldn't be doing this. So uh, that's probably something that I've you know, learned from this. You know, just to uh, start out with a diameter pipe you're going to use from the very get go. Otherwise, you're going to have to go back and, you know, chamfer it out, make it a little bigger. Cause you can't drop a bigger pipe into a, you know, in, in clay anyway, you can't. I'm taking clay, so I can't see. <laughs> it's balking up. Uh, yeah, you can't take a six and a half inch pipe, dropping in solid clay, when you got a four and a half inch pipe you're starting out with. But uh, like I say, this is all a learning lesson. Uh, I've never done this before, so I'm learning as I go. And, uh, so, you know, I hope it turns out all right. <sighs> hope y'all enjoy my little uh, blooper while we go. That was all pretend, you know. Uh, it's all serious, y'all. Um, you do need to be safe about stuff. Uh, obviously, wear your uh, gloves when you're welding. No, you're going to get burnt. You know, just something just common sense. And, uh, but I did, let me tell you this, I did work with a guy one time. Uh, he wouldn't ever weld, when he weld, he wouldn't ever wear a welding helmet. And I, uh, he, he just weld, and I said, how do you do that without, you know, hurting your eyes? And he said, he, he don't look at it or whatever. But I, I never did understand it, but uh, I'd work with him, and he'd weld stuff and never put a welding helmet on. I'm not telling anybody to do that, because uh, like I, said, I, I just don't know how he did it, but anyway. <sighs> All right, I've talked enough, Tasha. Anything you want to say while you're out here? I've just been out here in the shop working and... Um, I know you're ready for some cherry pie, I'm sure. Cherry pie? Yeah. Cherry cheese pie cake? Uh-huh. <laughs> A cheese cake? What do y'all call it? Cherry cheese cake pie? pie? Yeah. I don't know why they call it cherry cheese cake because it's a pie. I mean, uh, so we just call it cherry cheese cake pie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Right, Appreciate y'all watching the video and, uh, and just having a little fun out here, but we're getting getting something done. That's the main thing. And uh, appreciate y'all watching our videos. And as always, y'all have a blessed day, friends, and y'all stay safe when you work in your shop. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.